Network Optics, and today I'm here to talk to you about uh, Skyhawk Health Monitoring from Seagate uh, and its integration into Powered by NX Systems and NX Witness VMS. Um, so, let me open it up real fast. So, if you're not aware, Seagate has different types of drives that they sell for different markets, um, and each one of those different types of drives has basically the same hardware, but different types of software that's optimizing how the drive performs uh, depending on the use case. So Skyhawk is the surveillance uh, version of, of Seagate hard drives. Um, and it's been engineered specifically to deal with the challenges of lots of video. Um, so reading and writing lots of video, there's a lot of different, uh, the way that the data looks coming in and out is different than what you would have if you were, for example, just saving files to a drive and accessing them every once in a while. Video is pretty intensive. So Seagate has uh, created these Skyhawk drives with special software, special firmware that makes them more uh, optimized for the surveillance environment. Um, so for the past uh, year or so, we've been talking to Seagate and working with them, um, with their team, and they have an actual Skyhawk health monitoring uh, program. And what it does, let me show you, um, it looks at 300 different data points on a, on a hard drive. Um, and then any any Skyhawk drive. Now the Skyhawk drives that it supports are four terabyte and above. All right, so this is for the kind of newer generation of hard drives that are out there. It's not going to work on a two TB drive or a one TB drive. So you got to make sure you have four TB drives and above. But basically, Skyhawk Health takes a look at 300 data points on each one of those drives. If you've got all drive all Seagate drives, it'll look at all the drives in your system, um, in your piece of hardware, um, and then it. It looks for temperature fluctuations and vibration fluctuations and then a bunch of other stuff power usage and, and then it takes a look at uh, failures read write failures and and based off of all those data points it's able to predict you know if a drive is likely to fail and if a drive is likely to fail it'll actually send an alert uh, to NX witness or any powered by NX system and it will include um, you know whether or not there's issues detected with the drives um, and then you can open up the interface for Skyhawk Health because it's browser-based inside of your NX desktop, right? And and that that event that it sends is sent via our server API, just a standard old HTTP generic event, also what's called a create event API call. Um, so that comes in and then that gets represented in the client. So what it looks like in real life, right? Um, you can see here I've got uh, a web page uh, for the Skyhawk Health Monitoring. It's actually running on the NX2 over there. So it's a URL, right? Uh, in this case, it's an IP address plus the path to where the Skyhawk Health Monitoring is running and specifically the path to the Skyhawk Health Monitoring report file. Um, and when I open it up in the NX with this client, I'm able to see the HTML5 interface for it, right? So I can go in and I can start looking at specific details um, for temperature for power usage power cycling um, it'll give me a general overview of the drive is it healthy or not healthy um, Seagate's actually shipped me some a, a drive with some special firmware on it that kind of simulates problems um, and that's what you're seeing if you see any sort of errors in my system but then you can click into the individual drives as well and inside the individual drives you can actually see you know uh, temperature over time power cycle um, all the kind of data that the Skyhawk Health Monitoring System has collected, right? Um, if a drive is likely to fail, it'll tell you, uh, and that'll give you time to replace a drive before it fails, maybe move the recording, recorded information from that drive to another drive, or in the worst case scenario, um, let's say it completely fails, um, and you've got data on there that you need back. Well, Seagate has some data recovery services, and you can contact Seagate uh, to get them to uh, take a look at your drive and see if they can recover kind of any critical information you've lost. Um, so when it sends in a generic event, it ends up looking like this. Right, I've got it running on my machine right now. Yeah, it's only for important stuff. It's only for Windows operating system right now. It's in beta format um, because, you know, there are a lot of uh, things that can potentially be a problem in different types of server environments, like if you're running a, vir a virtual layer or things like that. So it's in beta right now. Um, so you basically install the software, um, you set up uh, Windows task automation so that it'll run the program every hour. 
So you can see here, I've got every every hour at about uh, 20 after the hour, I actually get an event uh, from the Skyhawk health monitoring system. And then I've gone in and I've created a rule in my system so that every time I get a generic event from Skyhawk health monitoring, you see SHM here in the generic event, I've got SHM in the source uh, in the caption. So I've used SHM to filter out that rule. So every time I get a generic event that has SHM in it, I launch a new layout. Now this is only available in version 4.0, so you can try it with a beta right now. Um, with version 3.2, the Skyhawk health monitoring will still work. Um, the only difference is you can't automatically launch a layout. Um, so you go in, you put the Skyhawk health um, URL for the report. If you've got different machines, let's say you've got four machines in a system and you want to run it on all four machines, well then you'll have to add all four um, web pages here and name them so that they're familiar to you so you can go in and take a look. But this is how you would bring that interface into our interface. And then generic events is what tells you uh, once the report or once the engine has finished running its analysis and sending you the report if there's any issues or not. Um, most of mine are completed without any issue. Um, you can see there's some here that say completed with some issues. And again, that's from that special drive with special firmware on it that I have from Seagate. Seagate drives have never had one fail. So, but uh, this is how you get the generic event in, create your rule. Basically a great way to get insight into whether or not your drives are gonna fail and a really nice way to avoid uh, losing kind of critical video um, and being you know proactive about how your hard drives are working. So this is Skyhawk Health Monitoring um, from Seagate. Um, really cool reason to, to buy Skyhawk drives uh, and utilize Skyhawk drives. Um, and Seagate's gonna continue to work with us on this to make it tightly or uh, much more tightly integrated into the platform over time. Um, we're even talking to him about the metadata SDK and getting like real time data coming from the drives. We'll see how that goes. But this is something that, you know, is indicative of a good uh, hardware provider. Um, Seagate's really taking the time to understand this as a surveillance industry um, and working with NX as one of their first major partners on rolling out uh, Skyhawk health monitoring uh, for video surveillance. So take a look.